Today, I'm joined by Christophe Rumpel, longtime Laravel contributor, educator, and now one of the faces of Laravel on the core team. Christophe, the clock starts now. Alrighty, uh, you create a lot of video content. Uh, what does your pre-recording routine look like? Yeah, so luckily it's actually not that much that I have to do. So over the last years, I tried to make my setup as efficient as possible. Mm -hmm. So basically, I have to press one button to get my desk up and then a second button on my stream deck to get all the lights up here, to um, get all the shades down. And then basically, I'm ready to press record and yeah, good to go. That's amazing. I press a whole lot more buttons than that. <laughs> um, how has your approach to teaching and screencasting evolved since joining Laravel? Oh, good one. So I think a few things have changed, of course, like the setup here. I changed it. I tried to be as professional as I can be mm -hmm. since I'm representing Laravel now in a way. So I really don't want to mess this up with Taylor. So uh, um, that's something where I try to get my level here to the next level or my setup to the next level mm -hmm. but in terms of teaching and presenting and my screencast i'd say not really much has has changed i still try to be as eye to eye with the people that i try to present to i try to imagine this one person here that are trying to present this new feature or what i do in the video and i try to take them on a little journey from hey here's where you are here is where we have something new here's an issue here we can do this and now this gets you from a to b and um, yeah, hopefully people, when they see my video at the end, they know not just what the feature is about, but also how they can use it. Very nice. Thank you. Um, how do you keep up with all the new features in Laravel each week? Uh, do you get any cool automation in your what's new video workflow? Oh, yeah, I do. So, yeah, you know, there's a lot going on, especially now that the, cr the team has grown so much. Yeah. And yeah, Taylor and everyone is cooking. And yeah, we have a lot of new things on the framework. And I'm responsible for the what's new video almost every week. So yeah, there's a lot going on. And I have this client, a common line interface tool, which helps me to where I just pick a specific release. It shows me all the features. I just pick the ones where I think they are most interesting for this video. And then it creates me this whole Notion page with all the, um, with the database, with all the features, with all the links, pull request links, with all uh, the contributors and their um, Twitter tags and so on, so that it makes me makes me as simple as possible to start recording. And after the video is done, I can also use this tool to create a timeline, video description, and some social media posts and so on. So yeah, I try to work this to get this even better because this is something that I need every week. And yeah, I also really love working on these automations too. That's super cool. You're very organized. <laughs> um... I try. <laughs> This thrilling episode of Running Clock is proudly brought to you by Laracast. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's the rootinest tootinest Laravel screencast this side of the information highway. And back to the show. Uh, you've been part of the Laravel community for a good 10 years. Uh, what's something that stayed true since the early days? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's now my... 12th or 13th year in the level community and I think there's a lot which is still the same so right from the beginning people were super friendly back in 2012 or something and yeah I think that's still the case people just like to show how things are done try to help you everything everyone is very positive about everything we're well very welcoming come here let's let me show you what we do here maybe you like it maybe not but yeah, I think that's one of Taylor's biggest success, um, the community. And yeah, we have the framework, we have everything, but the community, people just come here, have a good time. They work, but they also have fun. And I think that's just the best combination. So yeah, thank you, Taylor, again for this. Well, I'm much newer to the community, but I completely agree with what you said. So it's true still now, for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is one piece of gear in your studio setup? that you wish you had way earlier in your journey? Oh, I mean, there's so much, but I think I got here in front of me a little um, prompter. 
which is really nice because I can directly look into the camera, but I still have our interface here where I can see um, you and me and I don't have to look somewhere else to check what's going on. So yeah, this would have been really nice some years ago already, but it just came out, I think, last year. So I think this wouldn't have been possible, but yeah, I really love this piece of technology and it helps me a lot. I'm looking into the same thing and I, I agree, it's, it's a game changer. Last question for you. What's one piece of advice you would give to your 10 years younger former self? I think I would say you're good enough. It's okay to learn from others. It's okay to be inspired by others. But don't ever try to compare yourself to others because um, you can only fail with this one and it will make you unhappy. So yeah, try to stick true to yourself, to your path, to your journey. Listen to your heart and... Here again, you're good enough the way you are. But still keep working, get outside your comfort zone. You still have to crush it, but overall, you're good enough. What an amazing way to wrap it up. That's all the time you got. Thank you so much, Christoph. You've done amazing. Thank you so much, Simon. Yeah, you did great. Yeah. Basketball championship. Congrats. Oh my God, so it must be every day. Pretty much every day. Yeah. This is my <laughs> contribution to the, the community. It's your open source. <laughs> exactly. Yeah.